Welcome back to Taekwondo Bro. Today we're going to be working on the pinwheel kick or the turning heel kick depending on what you call it. So as you can see I'm turning around with an extended leg hitting the pad with my heel. So that's pretty much the basics of this. I'm going to show you a couple examples of this getting some highlight knockouts. I'm also going to show you some tips, some pointers, and then I'm going to do a slow section so you can really learn the technique. So Let's get started with that first fight. I have two of them today. So this one is going to be a Taekwondo tournament. As you can see, they're moving around. This is like an ITF style. You can tell by their uniforms. So they're fast on their feet. Obviously, both these guys are pretty good. And right there, you see that? Turned around, got him right in the head. And, you know, unfortunately for the other guy, he got knocked out. This one's from the UFC. I showed this before a couple years ago. And right there... He was going for, you know, uh, he was getting up close and personal, then just launches, turns around, heel kick to the head, gets the knockout. So, here's the technique. So the most basic part is going to be pivoting your front foot. Look at my front foot. As I turn, it turns too. In fact, the foot turns before my body. And then, the next thing is my shoulders move, my head moves, and you want to keep a straight leg. So I'm going to go into a really slow section right here, if you're trying to pick up the technique. I've always been more of a uh, visual learner, so the video helps me. But so here we're gonna take it slow. So that's the pivot. It's not huge. It's just enough to move your foot. You're pivoting on the ball of your foot, and you can turn, lift that foot up. Now, if you notice the angle of the foot too, it's like sideways. That's so the heel hits your target. If your foot is toes up, you're gonna hit with the side of your foot. That's just not nearly strong, and it's not nearly stable. So try to hit there. And also notice that my leg is at its highest point in front of me. Now that's because the target is in front of you and you want to hit up high. Some people when they launch the kick, it's really high off to the side so it's not doing them any good. And another thing is the second you land back, get back in that stance and get those hands back up because you can't really block while you're kicking this kick, but the second you land back, you can. So you should get those hands back up right away. Now when I'm kicking, this is like a straight leg kick, but I prefer to have a slight amount of bend in the knee just so when I hit, it becomes straight and I'm not like jolting my knees so much. I just find it more comfortable. So let's do the other foot now. We're doing the same thing. So the other foot, your left or your right, whatever is the worst one, is going to be a little harder, but I just say work it more until it gets better. You see how I was holding my leg up? That's the angle you want. This is the one you don't want with the toes up. You want the toes sideways hitting with that heel because the heel is a really strong bone and when you're getting it moving, it's a strong weapon. So turning, spinning around, and back to stance. Now if you're having problems with like balance, you might want to work on one leg balancing. So what you're probably doing wrong is you're turning in a really weird way with your foot, so it's like probably sliding. So I recommend turning on the ball of your foot just because it's easier to rotate there. So here, we're doing a pinwheel switch very common combination and what this lets you do is say if you're like really good with your right foot you can do a right foot pinwheel and then switch it to the front and maybe do an instant roundhouse kick or something or you know maybe you just want to mix up the direction that you're kicking at the target you know if you mix up the direction it can really change the results now it was blazing outside so I took my shirt off just to finish up so as you can see I'm really going for some high kicks and some power here this is what this kick is really for it's a longer distance kick and you have to set it up right. This is not something you can be doing like 50 times in a round because you're just going to get dizzy. And then it's also, if you're spamming it that much, it can be countered pretty easily. So this is something that you would mix in at maybe the end of a combination or after some nice footwork getting around your opponent, getting a good angle on them, okay? So spinning around, you want that foot high up. I can't stress that enough. This is supposed to be like a headshot kick. If you're kicking to the chest, yeah, you could hit them like that, but then you're going to have problems on the re-chamber. So try to go for the head. And then just a tip, if you're sparring in class and you don't want to hit with the heel because it's hard, use like the flat part of your foot. So as you're turning, extend your toes out kind of like a ballerina and then slap them with like the, the bottom part where your toes are pretty much with the ball of your foot. That's a lot less damaging. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I will see you guys next time.